Okay. So here is the giant pit of science. That's what we're going to call it now, the giant pit of science. Fair deal. It's the result of two explosions. One 70,000 TNT block explosion and one 50,000 block TNT explosion. It's 225 by about 170 blocks in size. And about, what do we say, 86 deep? 80, yeah, 84 deep. Something like that. The initial height of this terrain was right about where I am floating. What's your Y location where you're floating? Floating. Because we're down to... Y108. 108. Yeah, that's where I started the measurement when I did how far down the chasm went. Well, it goes down to lower than... Well, back. there's a bunch lower of tunnels and caves down there. So I don't really count them. There's also a, a mine uh, shaft down there in a chasm. But, well, uh, you're a... Yeah. I'm standing on the uh, 2Y at rock. And it isn't a chasm. It's from that explosion. It varied from side to side. The deepest we went is two, level two. Well, I know for a fact that the lowest block of TNT was at 25 when it, uh, World Edit created the TNT. Yeah. Oh, and for the mathematical factors, they said 70,000, 2.8 kilotons of explosive force. Whereas the nuke that was dropped on Hiroshima was between 13 and 18. So we're only at... Who shot that arrow? Johnny. He's been shooting them at me all day. Or all day. Anyway. Just under 20% of the explosive force of what was dropped on Hiroshima. Oh yeah, now I see the bedrock. Yep. This place is ridiculous. So big the server and the game can't even render it. So imagine this crater times five, and that's what happened to Hiroshima. <laughs>